If you like the video, then please consider supporting Slopes Game Room on Patreon. Hey there guys, it's Kick Scammer time. But before I get into this video, I want to explain why you're seeing a mini Kick Scammer video. Basically, me and my Kick Scammer army, which you can join as well over in my Discord channel, link below, what we do is we get quite a few quality ideas for upcoming videos. Sometimes they're quite obscure and they go into a little slot until I find other videos that are similar to them to create a full video. And, well, honestly, I've been sitting on this one for quite some time. And you know what? It's so obscure, I don't think I'm ever going to find another Kickstarter even remotely similar to this one. It's a successful Kickstarter that was designed to take the piss out of someone. So, look, let's just get on with it. Hi everyone, I'm Daniel Wibbertson and this is that Kickstarter Flamingo story. Welcome to Slope's Game Room. None of us like construction projects on our street, right? They disrupt the barbecue, keep your kids up, and basically just make your street look like naff. Personally, I don't care too much. Thankfully, we live around neighbours that do all of these DIY projects, but they do them in a nice, timely manner and therefore do not qualify for a good round of knockdown ginger. Oh, sorry, Americans watching? That's the British term for ding dong ditch. Well, in a small little suburb of California, the Albrecht family were doing up their home. And although the pictures you see here are just for illustration purposes, a very small and humble Kickstarter explained that although it was a bit of a construction site as expected, it wasn't all that bad at all. And more importantly, it didn't last very long. However, I am taking their word as golden because later pictures actually look like they're the sort of family that look after their gardens. Oh, sorry, Americans watching, their yards. However, sadly, the family got fined $50 as an angry neighbor reported the do-over and turned them into the city for blight. In other words, he requested an investigation of public nuisance structures or conditions, graffiti environmental conditions of substandard buildings which are causing a blight upon the neighborhood. It turns out that the main issue for the Albrecht family was that this power-hungry neighborhood cop never went to them in the first place, but instead it went straight to the city, complained, and like I said, it lost them $50. So, in retaliation, they decided to go to Kickstarter of all places to fight back. The plan was to force the grumpy neighbors to just simply lighten up, and with the help of several other neighbors who obviously agreed that the blight accusation was a tad excessive, Tyler Albrecht decided to create Operation Flamingo, a campaign that for only $500 will give him just enough money to buy 200 of these plastic garden flamingo things to put all over his and agreeing neighbors' front gardens in different formations daily in an attempt to wind up the miserable old sods that complained in the first place. The moody neighbors fought against him in his mini construction site, but they couldn't do anything in relation to pure tackiness. If you guys want to see a good example of a Kickstarter that is actually well looked after, albeit a little silly, then this is the one for you. Tyler personally thanked every single person that came and supported as they did and even created a Facebook group for people that were interested in following up what he was up to. Sadly, not much has happened in over a year in the group, and I was able to get hold of Tyler himself, who did confirm that the point and reason for their being present has been made, and just like the flamingos themselves, the family have moved on. Apparently, everyone in their old neighborhood thought that they were great. Well, all except the neighbor who was the inspiration to the project in the first place. When I asked him if the neighbor knew it was all about them, he simply said he never heard back. 
However, he did get a couple of stink eye looks. And honestly, that is it. All that's left is an incredible Facebook group for you to browse through and just look at how incredible this mugging off was. And let's just hope old Mr. George Wilson here actually cheered up. But let's be honest, nah, I doubt it. Time to get more flamingos, guys. <laughs>Hey there guys, thanks for checking out the video. I want to give a big special shout out to all of my patrons, but first my wife's going to take over and read the extra special Patreons. Ryan Burford, Gary Pinkett, Andrew Dalton, Tomic Grabowski, Christopher Turnbull, Aaron McNamara, Brent Craft, Ben Jackson, Joe Lazarus, Ian A. Chapman, Phil Lollins, Genova, Video Game Basement, Hananus, Retro to Next Gen, Pixel Limited, Samuel Victor, Red the Beard, John Fuller, Michael, Conrad Constantine, Pretendo64, Mike Fallon, Gavin Gorvis, Creamy Elephant, James Loveridge, Casey Garner, Blitz Hedgy, Ben Hall, Brian Rawson, Gemma at Mr. T's Shirt, Bram Perez, Garrett Leger, Marcus Kinju Mo Cup Tinder <laughs> Jan Rob Jenkins The Geeky Dad Richard Carter Fantastic Dizzy Todd Paul Float G Petty Mew If you want to get your name shouted out, get your name shown, come and see what I'm working on and all of that usual stuff, then please click the link that you see on the screen. Like I said in the video, if you want to come check out the Discord channel, then please go and check out the link in the description. But anyway, that's enough from me. This is DJ Slope signing out and hopefully I'll see you all next time.